And the game I'm very excited for the Mario Kart 8 DLC because of like Mario. Oh yeah, you know, I'm surprised that they're actually giving, like, think about it. Five years after that game came out, they're now putting in a whole season pass worth of Mario Kart content that's gonna last all through this year into 2023 think about that shit 48 new tracks son remastered tracks nonetheless so people are literally paying for old shit which i mean that's no there's nothing wrong with that because everyone does it all the time nintendo is built off of old shit <laughs> to this day i think it's really cool i'm probably gonna get it you know what i think is funny i think it's hilarious how they're trying to sneak that in as a part of the already existing expansion on the nintendo online service that costs more money so they're like oh you don't have to pay anything else for the season of mario kart because it's included in 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 the expanded nintendo online service i mean that's smart on them because realistically at the end of the day that's another way for them to basically get people to buy that bigger service because at that point it's like oh yeah but now you have access to nintendo 64 and the genesis and whatever else all the other library type shit that they have to offer that's honestly really smart on them because if they start doing more of that then okay i feel like at that point the expansion will be worth it well, more worth it but realistically what really what they should really do and honestly it's kind of stupid that they already have like their online service but then they have an expanded version of that they really need to fucking fix their online the online is it, it, it should be something that shouldn't ha you shouldn't have to have some sort of expanded bundle fee to tack on just to solidify a better online experience but let's face it it's nintendo and that part of their whole everything is not on the priority list they're trying to make it a big deal that the fucking oled dock has an ethernet port in it whip the fucking do welcome to the modern era the ps2 had a fucking ethernet port and the xbox what's the excuse because they don't care they, they it's not a priority it's never been a priority if nintendo actually decides to up their fucking experience to really take that shit seriously that won't probably happen for another like five ten years because they just love to do things when they want to do it that's the nintendo way bro and we all love them and we all keep buying their shit i didn't get the expansion online membership because for one i already have a family plan that i fucking pay for if it was individual that's like eh, okay like it's pushing it like i believe the individual expansion is 50 dollars oh, nintendo online is already 20 with the family is 30 30 is actually not bad a year for eight accounts on one shit that's actually fire but if you want the family expansion that's 80 dollars get the fuck out of here 80 fucking dollars that, yeah for for shit online experience they don't they don't improve it everything sucks the eShop still runs like windows 98 and then the the nintendo 64 games that have the online they don't work go look up a video on mario kart 64 online through the through the expansion that shit is atrocious that shit don't don't work it's as if like they took an actual 64 copy like the console and everything and they forced an ethernet cable in the side without actually programming it to actually support that shit and then they're like okay here you go same thing no difference their priority has always been to make fun family friendly lasting experiences with their games and time and time again despite all this truth that i'm spitting they hit it they hit it every time because if they didn't why would people go crazy over the titles that they put out the zeldas the pokemon the fire emblems the fucking mario games they clearly have something going so when it comes down to that experience part they got us all they got us all by the fucking okay because that's just how it works they have been able to sit for years they've been able to make great games but there's a select few check marks that are just not there and when it comes to their online experience that shit hasn't been there ever when they first introduced online play oh man it's almost like nightmares thinking back to trying to play brawl online holy shit people that complain now about ultimate having shit online y'all <laughs> have no fucking idea the oh it was that's a true unplay but unplayability right there brawl online true unplayability you literally could not play when people say games are unplayable now it's actually an exaggeration because you don't know what true unplayability is until you've tried to play brawl online and that is a hundred percent fact yeah and the funny part is mario kart online is, is not bad like you have to really be playing with someone on some fucking kmart wi-fi 
handheld in order to experience like some sort of like disconnect on a mario kart oh yeah yeah the emulation sucks massive input delay grab yep all trash what's the point of even trying to upgrade the expansion you know what i'm saying 